Hello and namaste. I am Gloria Grace Rand and I am delighted to be with you again for the podcast. And I'm especially delighted. I'm so excited because, you know, I've been interviewing lots of people from around the United States, but today I have someone joining us all the way from Switzerland. And I love technology that allows us to do this. I think it's so wonderful that we live in this day and age. So I want to um, tell you a little bit about this wonderful woman who is part of um, my Live, Love, Engage Facebook community. And her name is Gallet Grosser. And she was born in Israel and has a bachelor's degree in psychology, criminology, and plastic arts. Um, and she's worked in a variety of fields, a multi-talented woman, uh, you know, between being a mortgage consultant, she's been an art instructor, um, she was even chosen among only three other women to take part in a pilot program in Israel to, for the Israeli Electricity Corporation, um, where women could, you know, do the same kind of work as men and, you know, working up on high utility poles, holy smokes, that's not I would have done, but so kudos to you for doing that. Um, she actually worked at this job until she met her husband. And, um, he is a Swiss citizen, and now that's what brought her. And now they've got. Um, a, she opened a business called Power. Wear, wear your power. Um, so she was doing styling, personal styling for women, with an emphasis on empowerment and development. And girl, which is awesome. And most importantly, which is what we're going to be talking about today, is that they have um, a project that is all about raising the awareness and importance of self-love and self-acceptance. And it's called the I Love Me Project Zurich. And they've got some other stuff that we're also going to talk to, also dealing with children and, and prevention of child abuse. Um, which is awesome, awesome, and I'm, I'm sure this is probably near and dear to your heart now as a, as a mother yourself, I have a feeling, but we'll, we'll get that, we'll get to in a moment, but first off, just welcome, welcome to Live, Love, Engage. Thank you, thank you, nice to be here. <laughs> yeah, well, I am so delighted to talk to you, especially about love, because that's definitely part of what this podcast is all about, so I want to start right from there. Why is it so important for us to love ourselves? Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna mention that I'm gonna read from the page because I don't want to forget anything. So, uh, for your question, um, why is it so important for us to love ourselves? Uh, for me, self-love and self-acceptance are supreme above all. A person who wakes up and uh, adjusts to self-love can, can change his life at all, uh, and improve them uh, bond, bondless. When a person is committed to himself, he looks at the other person more deeply, contain and understand more. That way we can get better as a community as well. A person can heal his life when he connects to his true self. Mm. to his true passion. If love is not a priv self-love is not a privilege, uh, it is an act of taking responsibility for ourselves. And I believe we all deserve it as a human being. Yeah, absolutely. The, I love what you said, Gallet, about why it's so important for us to love ourselves first, because we can't really love anyone else until we're we are. So I think that's so important. So I wanted to ask you now, um, why why did you start the I Love Me project? Actually, it's a very uh, in nice story. Uh, I wasn't prepared. Uh, uh, it was a surprise even for me. Hmm. Um, I was a, three years ago. I moved uh, from Israel to Switzerland, following uh, Gilad, my husband. Uh, who is a Swiss citizen, as you said, uh, as soon as um, I arrived, and I studied already in Israel styling. As soon as I arrived, I started a freelance stylist uh, counseling uh, business for women with an uh, emphasis of empowerment. Mm -hmm. uh, counseling is usually given at the client home, 
uh, um, although I was doing it uh, on Skype as well, to women okay. all over the world. Yeah. Uh, one day, one woman approached and uh, asked me to come to your home for a styling uh, training. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, ca I came and uh, as I always do, I started the question, um, to ask her question, to know her much better. So uh, the first question is, why do you, what do you love about yourself and why, what do you, you don't love about yourself? Right. And she says, in, as simple as it sounds, I don't like myself. Oh yeah. Now yeah. I'm talking about a beautiful, beautiful woman, mm -hmm. and I'm talking about an education woman who mm -hmm. has a great job. Yeah. And I was in shock. I was like, Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, so we start talk, and then I realize um, that uh, uh, she's. Um, that her father was a religion man and she didn't follow his way. Mm -hmm. So she kind of punished herself. Mm. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. So the meeting was great. Everything was great. But then I go home and it was so painful for me to think that this beautiful woman sitting there alone and, and keep thinking the same thoughts since mm -hmm. she's, uh, I don't know when. Yeah. So I thought to myself, how can I help this woman? And I was thinking for a few days and then I said to myself, okay, I'm gonna create for her a magnet. She said, I love me. Hmm. A magnet because this will be in the refrigerator. This is the central place we're going. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so she never forgets, you know, mm -hmm. and that she will remember that she has the power. Nobody else does. Right. So I, re I did it and I sent it to her, but then uh, I couldn't print only one magnet. The minimum was 20. Okay. So I start oh, nice. give it away to my friends as a gift. Oh, nice. And everybody, oh, I want, I want. It's so cool, it's so cool. <laughs> so one of my friends sent me one day a picture with her in the magnet and told me, upload this picture to the Facebook, we're going to sell the magnet. <laughs> so... This is no, definitely was not my goal to sell the magnet, but I love this picture. There's yeah. something about it. And this is the very important point. I believe that in life we should follow our passion. Oh, yes. The smallest as they are, mm -hmm. they're important. Yes. And I love this picture so much. So I was uploaded every few days. Yeah. And there is something about this picture. Mm -hmm. And then... I realized, wait, I have already had women from all over the world because I give a, a Skype lessons uh, to women from all over the world. Yeah. So I said, this, this will be cool to send to her I Love Me Magnet. So I start send it anywhere, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. And there was so much fun. And the women, everyone was so happy yeah. to get the magnet and to take the picture. and. So I understand that this is the direction that I need to go. It was so clear to me. Um, and that's, so actually for three years, I'm doing this project in different uh, versions. Okay. Every time I upgrade it <laughs> and uh, we add men to the project. First, mm -hmm. the beginning is only for women. Yeah. But we add men because this is important. True. I love agree. it's for women and men as well. Yep. Um, and everybody's so happy and I'm happy and yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It's um, yeah. I do think it's important for men. There's a lot of men out there who I think, and I think that's why sometimes that they act the way they do because it's maybe because they don't trust themselves. They don't love themselves enough to know that they- No, I don't, think, I don't think that's the problem. I think there is a problem in the society from long, oh. long time ago yeah. that uh, men cannot um, uh, show- uh, uh, Your feelings, uh, like Feelings or uh, identify with something that women do, you know? Right, yeah. But actually the world is a little bit developed and uh, men are not the same men and they used to be 30 years ago, mm -hmm. they want more from themselves 
yeah. they also have pains and traumas and uh, yeah. Yeah. and suffer in life. Yeah, uh, it's not only a gift for the woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they want to heal themselves. Yeah, the world is developed. Yeah, yeah, which is good. Which will well, be good. changing. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So, what do you see is the biggest challenge when it comes to loving ourselves? Okay, uh, I hear often announcement. Uh, people who were afraid to participate in the project because they felt inappropriate mm. uh, because they felt uh, their self-love is not mature enough mm. uh, people must realize that self-love is not a matter of maturity self-love is a, a dynamic concept uh, depending on what we are going through at the time in life mm -hmm. uh, yes we must put the focus start uh, state the goal committed to ourselves ourselves to ourselves but we should not fear or shy away from the concept it is a dynamic as life it is mm -hmm. there is no a uh, specific moment uh, when we need to start loving ourselves just decide that it's getting started from this moment very good so what is what's the ultimate goal what do you want this project to, to really accomplish? The ultimate goal of the project is to empower people uh, and to remain, remind them that they have the power uh, in their hands at every stage in their life. Self-love is the connection to our true self and inner powers. Uh, this is a concept that must be spread throughout the world in every country and in every person and in every family. Mm. for children as well yeah. this uh, can prevent a great deal of suffering for people who have not yet been exposed or focused on the issue that's where we uh, strive to get mm, that's awesome well i'm i'm grateful that hopefully this podcast will be a small part of spreading that message out to maybe some more corners of the world where people haven't heard of you yet and they'll be able to do that. Um, now I know another part of what you're involved in has to do with children. So what, what made you decide to focus specifically on raising awareness of child abuse? Uh, okay, uh, after uh, researching the topic, I come to the conclusion that uh, we should talk about what people usually don't like to hear, child abuse, yeah. uh, with an em emphasis on parental abuse. There is a very large lack of awareness on the subject. Mm -hmm. uh, we focus on global advertising for the signs of a child being abused. People must understand that for the sake of the discussion, a child who has uh, experienced sexual abuse in the family will suffer from both family and society as a result of a lack of awareness on this issue. Mm. Uh, he will uh, endure a great deal of suffering throughout his life. I personally, personally will never be able to understand or accept the fact a child who has been abused should not pay such a heavy price for it. Uh, he is a human being like the rest of us. Family sexual abuse and increased incest is a must-stop phenomenon. The harm of the child and to us as a society is too great. A child who has been uh, traumatized by sexual abuse or incest may not pay for it in his adult life we as a society must develop and help them these kids get out of the sick circle that force upon them people must understand that this phenomenon goes far beyond what they think or are aware of so it is important to address the issue and not ignore it and i think you know definitely dealing with that issue as well as you know, physical and emotional abuse too. Of course, I, of course. I, I, of course. I endured, you know, some of that as a child growing up. Of course. And, I, and I think that's where a lot of times then that's what happens when people feel that they can't love themselves because the people that they trusted the most 
to love yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Love them. And so it's hard. You I will tell you the difference. Them. People, I, I get the feeling that people feel much more comfortable to talk about uh, uh, physical abuse, uh, violent well, abuse, yeah, that's sexual true. abuse. This, yeah. This, yeah, this is that's... why we're putting the finger on this, yeah, because that's... it's keeping a secret. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It but, doesn't... But when it's dark there, mm -hmm. the healing can go inside. Absolutely. So we need to uh, put some light on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. So I like, this phenomenon is everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Sad yeah. to say, but yeah. I'm glad I'm glad you are shining the light on that. So it is important to, to let people know that there are some things that they can do. So which leads me to my last question, which is how how can someone participate and support both of these projects, the I Love Me project and, and the children of the future of us all? um products so how how can they help our project how can they help uh, actually anyone interested in participating in uh, either project is welcome to connect gilad or me uh, through the uh, dedicated facebook pages uh, on the project because um, if you are not a facebook friend of us and you send us a message we are not always can see the message hmm. we can see it after two years so oh. <laughs> the best way to do it is to send message through the facebook pages okay and uh, feel free to write us anything all right well i will make sure that i will put the links to uh all of the facebook pages in the show notes so that way um, right. if you're listening to this you know in the car or something right now and you can't get to it you if you go to um go to uh, the show notes either through itunes or on my website at goodrand.com you'll be able to see it so i am so grateful that you were able to uh, take some time out of your day and uh and share this awesome work that you're doing in the world because it takes you know it's people like you doing you know, just starting projects like this that really gives me hope that we can make a difference in the world because it just takes more of course we can the world is changing yeah. there's a lot of people like me that uh, waking up and want to make a change mm -hmm. yeah, i absolutely. see it everywhere yeah. everywhere the world is changing we have to accept it yep yep and we can make it and we can continue to change it for the better and, and of so course. we can make it better for our children and grandchildren absolutely well Thank you for being here Thank today. You. And for those of you who are listening, as always, if you want to continue to hear great episodes like this, I encourage you to subscribe to us on your podcast platform of choice, it's iTunes or Spotify. Um, and if you would be so kind as to leave us a rating and review, that would be helpful as well, because that'll help more people find us. And until next time, as always, I encourage you to live fully and love deeply and engage authentically with one another.